Hey guys, so this is the Techno Carbon 16 Pro, one of the last released smartphones from Techno last year. Due to some reasons known to Techno alone, it didn't get to us. And when I say us, I mean it didn't get to Nigeria right on time. So I have it here today and it looks kind of similar to the Carbon 16 Premier, but with some key differences inside. So instead of making an outright review of this device, I thought it would be wise to compare it with the Premier. Let's see the difference between the two and I'll give you my thoughts about it so it will help you make an informed decision on which one to get. So starting off with the design, both looks very similar in almost every aspect aside from the side mounted fingerprint scanner on the Premiere and the rear mounted fingerprint scanner on the Pro. Both share the same camera layout behind and in front as well. The Camon 16 Premiere has a shiny plastic frame that distinguishes itself from the Pro. Holding both side by side shows that the Camo 16 Premier has upped the ante a little bit more when it comes to looks and feel. But at first glance, both looks very similar. Both phones are made of plastic which is not a bad thing because it makes it durable. No doubt, plastic feels cheap when compared to glass or metal, but that's not the case here. Both phones feel fantastic, especially with this reflection thing going on here. There's still room for improvement because I have to wipe it every now and then to remove smudges. It is very difficult to keep them clean. Other than that, they are both okay. At the bottom of both phones, we've got the headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port, and the speaker grill. No difference here. On the right side of the device, we've got the volume rocker keys and the power button that serves as the fingerprint scanner on the Premiere, while on the Pro, we have the power button and the volume rocker keys. On the left, we've got a SIM tray that can take dual nano SIM and a micro SD card on both devices. On the rear side of both phones houses a quad camera setup that comprises of a 64 megapixels main sensor, an 8 megapixels ultra wide sensor, a 2 megapixels depth sensor, and another 2 megapixels sensor for low light. On the front side, both phones come with a dual camera setup, but the Premiere comes with the 48 megapixels main selfie camera and 8 megapixels ultra wide camera for wide selfies. While the Camo 16 Pro comes with a 16 megapixel selfie camera and a 2 megapixels camera that I don't really know its usefulness. It might be for low light enhancement or whatever. The camera hump on the Camo 16 Premiere protrudes a little bit more than that of the Pro, which further explains the extra camera capability of the Camo 16 Premiere. The camera on the Camo 16 Premiere seems like a more capable option but we're going to find out soon. The 1080p 90Hz display on the Camo 16 Premiere sets itself apart from the 720p display on the Camo 16 Pro. It is a step above the Camo 16 Pro and I feel it is a step in the right direction. I so much wish the Pro model also had at least a 1080p display even without the 90Hz feature, at least for a Pro device. The Camo 16 Premiere comes with a 6.85 inch LCD IPS display while the Camo 16 Pro comes with a 6.8 inch LCD display. There is not much difference in display size here. The display properties on paper favors the Camo 16 Premiere and in real world tests, the Camo 16 Premiere has a much better display. That being said, watching YouTube videos is still very okay on both phones. For an average consumer, the 720p display might just be enough for them. On the performance aspect, there is a slight performance difference between the two based on benchmark scores, my speed test and even in real world scenario. The Premiere really shows that it is capable and for that, I think it might deserve its price tag. Launching app is faster on the Camo 16 Premiere, switching between apps is smoother on both phones but the Premiere is faster and it can return more apps in the background than the Camo 16 Pro due to the large 8GB of RAM it comes with. The Camo 16 Pro lacks 90Hz refresh rate and a 1080p display, but I believe this was done on purpose because the price difference between the two is quite noticeable. The Camo 16 Pro comes with the MediaTek Helio G70 processor, 6GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage, while the Camo 16 Premiere, on the other hand, comes with the MediaTek Helio G90 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 128 gb of internal storage. This really shows that the Camo 16 Premiere is a much better device than the Pro. But to most people that cannot pay a premium for the Premiere, the Pro is still a much capable device. And if you happen to buy the Pro based on performance to price ratio alone, 
I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Gaming is very impressive on both phones. You can play high graphics demanding games with no lag thanks to the gaming processor that is powering both phones. Browsing the web, social media sites run very smooth on both phones. Performance is not really lacking on any of these devices, but there's a noticeable difference between the two when you compare them side by side. The fingerprint scanner on both devices are very impressive. They are very fast and reliable all the time, but I tend to prefer the side-mounted fingerprint scanner on the Camo 16 Premium. I feel like it is the best place to put a fingerprint scanner on a device. It makes it easier to reach and since it is on the power button, when you tap on it, it serves two purposes. It locks and unlocks the phone with ease. So side mounted fingerprint scanner for me. Where the Camo 16 Pro really shines over the Premier is the battery aspect. The 5000mAh battery on the Pro can last comfortably for two days on a moderate use and the same cannot be said about the Premier. The 4500 mAh battery on the Camo 16 Premier, coupled with the fact that it comes with a faster refresh rate, draws more battery than the Pro model. However, there is an option to switch to 60Hz on the 16 Premier, but I noticed the benefit wasn't that great when compared to the Camo 16 Pro. Camo 16 Premier can last for a whole day on a moderate use, which should be enough for some people, but if you want to squeeze out more, then the Camo 16 Pro should be the one to get. Charging time on the Camo 16 Premier is quite great because it supports super fast charging and it comes with a 33 watt super fast charger out of the box. It is sad that while the Camo 16 Pro supports super fast charging up to 18 watts, the fast charger is not included in the box. During my charging test, the Techno Camo 16 Pro took more than 3 hours to charge from 0 to 100% with the included 10 watt charger, which is quite sad. While the Camo 16 Premier took only 1 hour and 10 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. I feel the Camo 16 Premier fill in that gap between the two by charging faster but with a lesser battery capacity. You know, in this life, you cannot really have it all. It's either you win some or you lose some. Okay, so moving on to the camera aspect, both phones come to the 64 megapixels main sensor. In some scene, the Techno Camo 16 Pro images has this warm look. The colors are a bit warmer than they should have been, but it is still okay. The details are present, but the color shift is quite obvious. I also noticed that the Camo 16 Premier retains more details than that of the Pro, but not by a wide margin. Colors look more real on the Premier, and dynamic range seems to be more prominent on the Premier as well. I want to somehow believe that they don't share the same sensor even though they share the same high megapixels count. Don't get me wrong, the Techno Camo 16 Pro is still a very good camera phone. Images from it are still very impressive. There are some minor edge softness on the 64 megapixels images, but it does not ruin the overall impressive impression. I don't really see the much benefit of having a 64 megapixel sensor when by default it shoots in 16 megapixels. And I strongly believe that 90% of average buyers won't even notice the 64 megapixels mode. And even when they do, you will be hard pressed to tell the difference between the standard shot and the 64 megapixel shot unless you want to pixel speed by zooming in further. For most people that will be shooting in the standard mode, they will be 100% fine with the result. The 8 megapixels ultra wide camera delivers some decent shots for what it is. However, dynamic range isn't too impressive, but the photos do present good enough details and good contrast. Selfie on the other hand is impressive on both phones, but the weird color thing is present on the Camo 16 Pro image. Details are present on both, but the Camo 16 Premier takes the cake here. Both the Premier and the Pro come with what Techno calls Super Night Mode. While the Camo 16 Premier manages to bring something close to acceptable, the Pro wasn't too impressive. I would advise you to always turn on flashlights if you care so much about night photography on both phones. What's up guys, so this is a front video camera test on the Techno Camo 16 Premier and the Techno Camo 16 Pro. The Techno Camo 16 Premier shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second, while the Pro shoots in 2K at 30 frames per second. To me, I feel like the Premier has a little bit more detail than the Pro here, but you guys should let me know what you guys think about it, okay? And also let me know which audio you like the most among the two here. Mm.
Moving on to video, the Tecno Camo 16 Premier can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second, while the Camo 16 Pro can only do 2K videos at 30 frames per second. Both are okay even though they lack video stabilization when you shoot in 4K or 2K. If you want video stabilization, you have to switch to 1080p mode which is actually good on both. So in conclusion, it is clear that when you compare the two side by side, the Camo 16 Premier will always win in almost every category. But the thing is, the Camo 16 Pro was not made to be compared with the Premier. On its own, the Camo 16 Pro is a much capable device. Performance is very impressive as well and it also comes with some of the Pro features like the 64 megapixels camera, a large storage capacity, an impressive battery life that beats the Camo 16 Premier and a universal charging port which is Type-C. The price difference between the two is noticeable. I somehow wish the Camo 16 Pro was around the price range of 80,000 Naira or $210 because it is a little bit on the high side. If it was priced within that range, it would have been a much better bargain. So guys, those are my thoughts. Kindly share your own thoughts with me down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about these two devices. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye bye.